Welcome to the crew. This is an orientation for Recovery People's statewide network. In 2014, Serberhood won a federal grant from the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration to develop a statewide network of peers, family members, and allies in recovery from substance use issues. Collectively, we refer to ourselves as Recovery People. Recovery People is overseen by a nonprofit called Soberhood. Soberhood actually oversees three uh, statewide networks, Recovery People, Texans for Recovery and Resiliency, and Texas Recovery Oriented Housing Network. So what do we mean by crew? Well, if we were to look, into the, look at a dictionary, we would see that uh, crew can be a noun, meaning a group of people who work closely together. Um, it can also be a verb, meaning to provide the workforce to operate something or accomplish a goal. In the context of recovery people, we use crew to refer to the peer leaders and peer workers who are participating in the statewide network activities. In addition, uh, we got a little creative and used the acronym CREW to stand for Continuing Recovery Education Workshops, which is the basic and advanced training for our crew members. So more about the statewide network, the purpose is to expand the capacity of peer leaders, peer workers, and peer-led organizations to promote recovery. In addition, it's to strengthen the voice of peers in policy and program development. The goals of the network are to organize peers to establish a sustainable mechanism for integrating the peer voice and health system change and service delivery. Two, promote skills development amongst peer leaders and workers. Three, develop partners that support access to recovery support services. And four, identify needs and provide technical assistance to peers to ensure that they are viable players in the delivery of services. The statewide network exists virtually. Uh, through technology, peers are able to conveniently and effectively connect and collaborate with each other across communities and regions. The network also exists locally. Uh, peers are encouraged to work together and support each other through local coalitions promoting recovery in their own community. The network also exists regionally. With a, a state the size of Texas, we had to organize uh, the, the state in regions, uh, and we chose the health and human service regions in order to coordinate efforts and support. Uh, to the bottom right, you can see a, uh, a map of the state of Texas uh, that maps out or uh, delineates all 11 regions within Texas. And the network also exists statewide. Um, for example, the State Recovery Conference, the annual State Recovery Conference that we're going to hold, as well as the Peer Advisory Committee, the PAC, uh, will be used to engage peers from across the state in both program and policy development. So who are we? Well, collectively, Recovery People, it's a movement and it's a community of peers, family members, and allies with lived experience recovering from substance use issues. Out of that big pool of, in Texas, nearly 2 million people in 2014, we find a, a, a crew members. These are the peers who enrolled and active in crew activities, either virtually, locally, regionally, or statewide. And amongst the crew members, we identify uh, and or appoint, elect uh, the Peer Advisory Committee or the Crew PAC. Uh, they represent the crew members uh, by region and by community. A little bit more about crew members, the eligibility to be a crew member, someone has to be 18 years of age or older. They have to have a year of personal recovery, and that can be a peer having their personal recovery, or oftentimes family members and allies have their own recovery experience due to their loved one's struggle with substance use issues. And the peer member or the crew members have to be nominated by a partner organization or a crew leader. Looking at the crew pack, uh, as we mentioned, that stands for Peer Advisory Committee. It is comprised of crew members who represent their regions or communities, and they meet together quarterly to evaluate the performance of the statewide network and, and the crew and to, and to shape strategies. We want to make sure that the crew and recovery people are responsive to the needs uh, of people in recovery. And the crew pack is appointed or ideally elected by the crew members themselves. So at Recovery People, we're all about working smarter and learning smarter, and that's why we're leveraging the latest in technology. Uh, 
crew members will be able to log on uh, to their account, either through recoverypeople.org forward slash crew, or they can get to that same login by going to recoverypeople.instructure.com. So more about the online platform. One of the things that we'll be doing is the online training. So the online training is going to be for uh, workforce development, and this is development uh, skills development of recovery coaches, recovery house managers, group facilitators, or any number of other peer workers. And the training is also going to be for leadership development, uh, leadership skills for community organizers, event coordinators, advocates, and other peer leaders. The curriculum is going to be spread over three years. Uh, so year one, we'll have uh, Crew 101, year two, Crew 102, and you guessed it, year three, Crew 103. Um, in addition, the online platform is going to facilitate work groups and discussion groups. Um, that could look like uh, a work group or discussion group around the peer uh, advisory committee and their work, or maybe planning committee for the statewide uh, 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 recovery conference. Or it could facilitate conversations and, and work done at the local level. Say the, the Dallas Coalition or the El Paso Coalition could form an online work group that supported their real world activities. Or if it's not geographical, it could be around special populations. There could be a Women's in Recovery Coalition developed or Veterans in Recovery Coalition developed, and they can connect with individuals that have a passion around that population uh, in their community across the state or across the nation. So again, welcome to the crew. We're glad to have you. We are living proof that lives change and improve when recovery happens. Our lived experience qualifies us to identify barriers, propose solutions, and develop strategies that support and uplift recovery in our towns, 